Yeah, Islam is all about satisfying the sexual needs of men. Welcome friends to another new video. Friends, do you see these monkeys jumping around from one rock to the other rock? This is the situation of our Muslim friends when we ask them of a particular verse in Quran, that is Surah 424. This verse legalizes prostitution for Muslims and this had been going on since the time of Muhammad, the Prophet, till today. In Shia countries like Yemen or Iran or Syria, all those places, this is perfectly legal and in fact it is promoted by their kind of ministry which, uh, you know, advocates virtue and against vice. It's a, that's a very good joke. Okay. And I would, I would say that, listen to this particular lady who happened to join Islam or rather get converted to Islam and she was proposed a marriage in accordance with Surah 4.24. You listen to this and then we will discuss. So I have a crazy topic to discuss. It is muta. Um, so I had never heard that term. I'm a revert or convert to Islam until a man that I was interested in and was talking to me um, brought it up. And he's like, hey, we, have you ever done a muta or heard of a muta? Um, no, I hadn't. So I looked into it and y'all, it's basically like a temporary marriage, which in and of itself is like an oxymoron, right? Like marriage is supposed to be forever, um, whatever. Um, so the more I looked into it, I just felt very uneasy about it and didn't like feel comfortable with that term. Um, because when I want to marry somebody, I want to be with them forever. Like, I don't, I don't plan to be with somebody just for a short period of time. Like whatever differences we have in a marriage, I'm going to work through those. I want to work through those as a couple, um, and not just leave because it's hard, right? So, and he was like, well, if you don't believe in this, you know, this is what, you know, the prophet said is okay. So do you know better than the prophet? And do you, you like, I don't, I don't want to answer that question because no, but this makes me feel very uneasy. So what do you guys that are born Muslims or have studied more than I have, what are your thoughts and opinions on muta marriages? Friends, Islam is a tool of Satan. It propagates all kinds of evil things, vices, and anything immoral is to be considered. You will find that in Islam, having a legalized approval by the Prophet of Islam. And even more interesting is that when they advertise it, their, their religion to people like this ignorant lady, they do not tell all those things. To the LGBT people, they say, oh wow, Islam supports LGBT, Islam supports LGBT. To the woman or the fem women movement, they say that we love women, Islam gives all kinds of respect to women. And to the blacks, they say that Islam is against racism. We love our black friends, black fellows. Come to Islam. Welcome to Islam. But these poor fellows have no clue that Islam is just another, the opposite rather. It is an oppressive regime. And when you get into that, and when you are trapped into that kind of Venus flytrap of Islam, you cannot get out of it you will be accused of apostasy and your head's chopped off. This is what Islam is all about, my friends. Now, before we move on to Christian Prince, where he is grilling a Muslim and he is jumping like the monkey, 
I would request you to please subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed and do give a like and share about this channel with your friends and relatives and whoever you would like to. Let's move on to the discussion with Christian Prince. Again, okay. <laughs> one second, one second. I'm, I need to mute myself. All right. One second, one second. I'm not too bad. I'm just listening to your lies mm. all, all the time. It's just unbelievable how many times you have to lie about Islam. <laughs> what you can do. Um, Here we go. You can, you can help us to expose the lies, my friend. Today you spoke so much nonsense and like every day. It's such a, so, so much fun listening to you, really. All right. I mean, this uh, prostitution <laughs> verse you say, your interpretation of that prostitution verse that Allah encouraged encouraging prostitution, Islam. Mm. And uh, have you read uh, Ibn Kathir? Uh, read the verse for me have first, and we will go to Ibn Kathir, no problem. Well, you know the verse anyway. No problem. Do okay, the does, it anyway? Say, does it say Does it say in the verse, if they choose a chastity, you don't force them into prostitution? Yes or no? I'm lying. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay, okay. So, so if they choose not to do chastity, you can do prostitution, right? Uh, meaning is, if these your slave girls, mm -hmm. if they want to earn money the way they're not Muslim to start with, if they want to earn money mm -hmm. outside, whatever they're doing outside, mm -hmm. you don't force them do it or not do it. Mm -hmm. But you must not force them. They will own. They will earn money. They are slaves. They are the slaves. They have their own. Uh, they, 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 can, can a slave open his own business, or the slave he had to do what? Uh, well, in those Arab culture in that time, they, some some slave women that do not have any husbands. Mm. So of course they have relationships outside. No, right? but this is not about relationship. This is about prostitution. This is about prostitution. If, 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 if their master is not having sex with them, it's possible that they have a fear outside. And okay, my friend, I want you to show me reference. I want you to show me a reference that those slaves, those slaves, they open businesses for prostitution. Well, well, there, there are, uh, if you read uh, Islamic history, in that it says, I think there are interpretations. I have read it, but I can't pinpoint exactly right now. I know exactly why you trying to want to try and change the topic, because I challenge you. Can a slave, can a slave, you want can a slave, can a slave, can a slave, can a slave, practice a business without permission his, of his master in Islam? Uh, it's possible if they're doing it uh, without telling their masters. It's possible if it's they're possible. Doing, having affairs outside. If are, they're having affairs outside. Are yes. you sure? I'm, I'm very sure. Yes. What do you get? Tell from? me, they could. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Your religion says that even a marriage he cannot practice, even if it's a legal marriage, a person who is a slave he cannot marry without permission of his master. <laughs> It's not talking about marriage here, is it? Okay, so you are saying that even marriage, which is good to do, you cannot do without the permission of your master, but you can do prostitution without permission of your master, according to Islam, correct? No, no, nobody's saying about permission or no permission. Okay, I'm asking nobody's you, no, I am, I am asking you about permission, my friend. I am asking you about the permission. I'm asking you about permission. Can a slave person do marriage without permission of his master? Yes or no? Do marriage without the permission of his master? Mm. Um, I, do, I don't know too much about Sharia. You educate me on that. I don't know mm. about this. But okay. I believe, I believe, uh, no. Sorry? I believe no. You, I, I you believe, believe no? Okay, that's, believe. that makes it easier. Okay, yeah, but, so you believe no. Okay, so if marriage which is not, is lawful, right? Is, is, is marriage something good or bad? It's, it's good, of course. Okay, so how come if you want to do marriage without permission of your master, you're not allowed? But you just said you can do prostitution without the permission of your master. And this is the teaching of Islam. How do you say that? Say that again. You say, say it again. You said you, said, you do... said to me, you said to me, this is about somebody, a slave, she wanna do prostitution business and decide to make money. And I asked you, is that by the permission said... of the master? You said without permission. I didn't say the permission. Okay. I didn't say by the permission, permission of who? Master. By the permission of who they do prostitution business. If they're having an affair on their own uh, without master's permission, mm. uh, they, they probably they probably they do they mm. do have it. Mm. But the, but the question is, is, did Islam tell you to let them do prostitution and earn money from them? Well, the Quran in front yes. of you, the Quran in front I, of you. No, they don't make money from it. The, the one who make money is the Muslims, not the slaves. Uh, okay, okay. Now you need. Have, that's what I'm telling you. That's wrong. This is wrong understanding. Okay. Because this is not how Islam understands, and even a Kathir can. Completely says okay. the three, three, three earnings, three earnings on his Muslims are haram. 
Mm. One is the, from the prostitution mm. and one from the fortune teller. And the mm. third one is the copper. I don't know, I don't know what copper means, actually, mm. to be honest. Mm. These Muhammad Sallallahu clearly, clearly forbade these kind of earnings from prostitution are evil. Earnings from copper are evil. And price of a, there's another third one, is the price of a dog is evil. Mm. So this prostitution is completely Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi evil. Mm. You saying mm. Islam promotes it. Mm. So how, where you get this idea from, I want you to show me where Quran or Hadith clearly says you can earn money from prostitution. Now, okay, well, here we go. Source. Here we go. First of all, the Quran in front of us, and we will go to the interpretation. Everybody will see. Yeah, which is... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, in front of us it says that uh, uh, force not your maids into prostitution when they desire chastity. So what is the condition not to force them? If they desire uh, chastity, do you agree or that? Do you agree or that? Hang on, man. You are your inter interpretation. What? No, I'm not giving interpretation. I'm reading the Quran as it is. Does it say, yeah. "Don't force them"? If they agree, when they agree, desire chastity. Do you agree with that? Don't force them. Yes, mm -hmm. if they uh, desire chastity. Yes. yes. Okay. Don't force. Them. So, so you don't force them. But if they agree not to be in chastity, it's okay, right? It is, I can't read that word because it says the agreement. It says why you, can, you know don't force them not if they desire. Force them not if they desire. Right. Does it, and, doesn't and, say and doesn't say it. doesn't say force them not to do prostitution. It says force them not yeah. if they desire to be chastity. So what is the condition not to force them? Force not your maids to prostitution mm. when they desire chastity. Okay. What if they don't? What what if they don't desire chastity? Why Allah He put the word here? They desire chastity. What okay. the point? What about it? What, what about if I say to you like you put your interpretation? Mm. I put my interpretation in that. Can I do that? So, okay, sorry. Say again. Say, say again. Then, say again. Okay. I'm, you you uh, listen to me carefully. Mm. You says that okay. means if they don't desire chastity, you can make them prostitute. Right. Yes? Right. That's that what the verse is, saying. Yeah. That's okay. what the verse saying. Okay, whoa, 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 I hold it wrong. Mm. Well, your understanding is that. I tell you this, my understanding is this. If they don't desire chastity, then marry them. How about that? Marry them? Do you what, like that? What, where it says that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let them have, uh, exactly. So where does it say is, if they do desire it, then make a prostitute? Where does it say My that? friend, why Allah, he put the word desire chastity if it is not the condition? Why he put it there? Are you saying this is extra? That this is this is your uh, um, uh, twisted um, understanding of of the Quran, and okay. that's what you always do. Uh, no, this is not my understanding. Is, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will go. I will go and see the interpretation of the verse. Is that fine? Okay, let us that's do. what I'm asking. Your name, you your name, like your your your, your name is Ibn Ab is Abbas. Let us ah, go and see Ibn Abbas. You love Ibn Abbas, don't you? you love Ibn Abbas. What's wrong with Ibn Abbas? We, we, we will go to Ibn Kathir too. We will go to Ibn Kathir. Just wait. Do you know? Do you know what Ho Muslim? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ibn Abbas is. Do you know what the uh, Muslim consensus what, about Ibn Abbas? What, what they say? What they say about Abbas, Abbas? Abbas is not preserved. Ibn Abbas. Oh, Ibn Abbas not is preserved. Ibn Kathir is preserved. Ibn Kathir is more authentic and more preserved writing of Ibn Kathir than Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas was the first one, mm. and then about uh, seven hundred years ago, I forgot the name of the man. Okay, who okay. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If a woman, if a man, he saw a woman in the desert and she have no food mm. and she said to him, please feed me and dine. And then he says, I will not feed you unless you take off your panty and I have sex with you. Is that mm. prostitution or this is marriage in Islam? Uh, prostitution? How that is prostitution? I don't know. A woman, she is dying and he is not asking her to marry her. He said, I want to sleep with you. He didn't say I want to marry you. Yeah. He said, if you mm -hmm. let me sleep with you, I will give you food. And then mm -hmm. she did allow him to sleep with her. Is that a prostitution or marriage for you? That is a prostitution on the on the behalf of a woman, not on behalf of a, of a man. If man is just, just say, look, I I no problem, guys. Did he say this is a prostitution? I like. I like did he say this is a prostitution? Here we go. This is the story. This is a story. Okay, thank you, thank you. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, we got it. We got it, guys. It's a prostitution in the behalf of the women. The fact is the opposite, because the women she have no choice but to, to, she will die if she don't eat. The man is abusing her and he is forcing her into sex. This is a prostitution. In the return, I will pay you. But the women, she have no choice to get paid or not. She want to live. She want to survive. And look what your prophet said, what, what, you, what your Omar said, the caliphate. And you are the one who said this is a prostitution. This is Omar and the story of I a woman. On the of hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
when a woman she came to Omar and she said this man this man he saw me in the desert and what I, are you reading actually what are you reading huh what are you reading what is your source this is the source in front of me this is the what is the name of the source what here we go the the, okay this is the name of the book Al Muhalla Bil Athar. We can find you the, the, the same source from many places. This is not one. Okay. We can show you tons no, of verses. Give me, give me your most authentic source, please. I'm showing you the source, and I changed to prove that this is a, this is a lie. This is why no, they no, are. Show me, show me authentic source, uh, CP. Please, for God's sake. See, okay. Which which source. is authentic source for you? Uh, okay. Do I have to educate you on that? Okay, which no which problem. is the authentic? Anything I will show you. You say to me, it's weak. No, no, I'm telling you, you're asking me a very good My friend, question. I'm, 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 I'm asking you, what is the authentic source for you? Anything you don't like, you will say to me. <laughs> anything I'm I will say to you. Authentic. My friend, anything I say to you, you will say to me, this is not authentic well, I'm source. Your, I'm, I'm your friend now. I think you you're not my friend. You're, you're, not you're, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're, you're a liar, my friend. friend. You're a liar. I'm asking you. I'm asking you, what is the authentic source for you? Name for me. Name for me an authentic source for you. Okay. Can I? Can you name for me authentic source for you? Uh, authentic source for me is first. No, I am telling you many, not one. I'm giving you many. Okay, what? Which one? I don't hear. Which one? Which one? one. Okay. I, I do not hear anything. Can, give me authentic source for you for the stories. Uh, can you hear me now? Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, the most authentic source, most authentic source for me is the Quran. First of all. Okay. And then the second most authentic source is all mutawatir ahadis. What is Those that? Which book? Books. Which books? Which books we, we will the find? Repeated, there? repeated, uh, repeated. Uh, which books? Which books? Which books? They, they, they can, they can, they can be in Sahasita. They can be in the, the top six books of Hadith. Okay. Bukhari, Muslim. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let us go. Okay. Okay. Let us go. Let us go to Bukhari. And then let us go. Let us go to Bukhari. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop playing games, man. Are you, you talking? Okay. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is Sahih. You're a prophet allowing a woman to have sex with the man for three days or three nights, and this is a test drive. Are you going to say to me, is that a is that a prostitution or not? Is that a prostitution or not? No, no, let me read. Don't force me. Are you in a hurry? You want to go to the toilet or something? Why? Is well, I, I went in the toilet when the, your your previous friend brother he was talking to me. I did already. So are you standing? Are you standing on the hot plate or something? Calm down. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us me, see. Here we go. This is me, this is Al Bukhari, me. the book you like. Is that prostitution or not? I, I I didn't see it. Where is Al Bukhari? Um, this is Salama bin Al Akwa. Where is Al Bukhari? Later, later we'll show from Al Bukhari. This one is yeah, not Al Bukhari. Can I can I read it? The Bukhari one? I cannot find Al Bukhari now. But, no, no, it's okay. We, what what you put on the screen right now? What source is this? I don't know. Later we will find out. But I want to read authentic source. You, you, I don't want you to. Okay, let, let us read this one first, and then we will go to Al Bukhari. Read this one for me oh. first. Okay. Uh, um, Salama bin Al Akwa said, uh, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if a man and a woman agree, uh, their marriage should last for three nights, and if they like to continue. Mm. They can do so, mm. and if they won't separate, they can do so. Mm. I do not know whether that was only for us or for all the people in general. Mm. Abu Abdullah said, Ali made it clear that the Prophet said, Muta marriage has been cancelled. Mm. So, you, you talk about Muta marriage here. Is that prostitution or not? Uh, how this is prostitution? Is Muta prostitution or not? Uh, uh, first of all, muta is not allowed anymore. It this is another question. Is, is is muta prostitution or not? Uh, of course not. Why not? You are paying a woman and for sex. You are paying a woman for sex. You are agreeing with each other mm -hmm. to do what? To do what? To, to do what? No, no. What is the word marriage? By the way, by, by the way, my, by the way, my friend, it doesn't say there the word marry at all. I, uh, honest to God, here we go. You asked me to read the translation. My, my friend, no problem. Said, no problem. This is why they have it for you between two brackets. Do you see the word bracket? Do you see the bracket? Does it does it yeah. have a bracket there? That's mean it's not there. There's no marry. So there's no marry. Bracket is not part of the Arabic. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. Bracket means it's not in that. It doesn't say anywhere the word marriage here. There's no marriage. Here we go. I'll show you the Arabic. The Arabic it says, any man, any woman, they agree to do ishra, to, to sleep together for three days and three nights. They can, and they can increase if they like, or they can decrease if they like. They can separate. There's no way the word marriage has appeared here. Look, you are okay. So now I'm asking you. Okay, no problem. I'm showing you. I'm showing you your Islamic translation, but I'm asking you now. 
If I agree with the woman that she will take off her panty for three hours or three days, in return, I will pay her $100. Is that prostitution or not? Listen, uh, um, um, the muta, first of all, is not allowed in Islam anymore. This is not the question. This is not the question. If I agree with the women, if I see, if I see, what is the prostitution? Isn't it you? Isn't it, isn't it the prostitution? You go to a woman and you say to her, I will pay you if you sleep with you. Is it this is the truth? Uh, why are you jumping from one story? We are not jumping. Here we go. You, you, you lie. No, you, you want you want source. You want source. You can read. You wanted sources. You can read. This is a prostitution. When a, when a woman. Okay, let me ask you. Are you going to allow your sister, with my respect to her, to do muta? If not, is if no, why? Uh, first of all, uh, you must understand when the muta was allowed, mm -hmm. then it was allowed for only for maybe three to six months. That's what it was allowed. This is, doesn't so matter. This allowed. is not a true, by the way. It's not true. Because even after Muhammad died, we are Muslim, they practice muta. And until now, the Shia, they practice muta. Have you read the Sahih Hadith about the muta? My friend, the answer yes, me. Uh, Ali this, 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 at the time of Khaybar, mm -hmm. he cancelled it at the time of Khaybar. You know the Khaybar. Do you, do you know what? Do you know what Ali he said? Do you know what Ali he said? You mentioned Ali. Ali he said, if there, if if muta still exists, there's nobody will commit adultery. Is that correct? Uh, I haven't read that. I can show you the hate later. But let us go here. A man and a woman. A man and a woman. They agree. A man and a woman agree for exchange of sex and money, three days or three nights or even three hours. Is that prostitution? If it is not, why? What is your logic? Okay, uh, you asked me a rather question about when you mentioned if your sister uh, mm -hmm. happened and you say with respect I, and I respect that, that well, first of all, in, in, in when Muta was allowed, mm -hmm. when it was allowed, mm -hmm. it was not forced upon any woman or any man. It was completely up to you, the man and woman. Is Correct, no problem. It, and this is what the Quran is saying. Was, okay, and neither, see guys, neither, it's, neither, not it's not forced. It's not, you see, it's not forced. It's, that's mean prostitution is allowed. So it's not for us, the women, she can do that. She can rent her vagina to a man. And the man, he can accept the renting of the vagina. And this is a prostitution. The women, she get paid. Is it for free or for money? Is it for free? All, is it, my friend, my, no, no, no. Is it for free? Is it for free? Or you have yeah. to mention the money and you have to accept the money and you have to mention the time and the date. Is it true or online? Do you know, we know why money was in there. Mm. Do you know why money was there? Mm -hmm. Do you know the reason why money was there? Why? Why? Okay, because whenever you do marry with a woman, mm -hmm. muta or not muta, mm -hmm. you have to pay dowry. Yes, my Even friend. Marry, my friend. My marriage, friend. You pay dowry. You see, yes. hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Okay, let me let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Dowry is something you pay if there is a marriage to continue, but this is not a marriage. This is called muta. What muta? I mean in Arabic. Can you tell me, please? Um, uh, come on, second. Uh, I forgot the meaning of the muta. Um, muta means uh, sexual joy. No, no, it doesn't mean that. That's they are the way muta. What muta mean? Muta mean joy. It's not the literal meaning. That's not the literal meaning. <laughs> you are wrong. You are wrong. This is not the literal meaning. Literal meaning is uh, is different. Mm. So what muta I mean? I'm waiting for you. I can't think of now. Oh, you cannot. Are you saying that this is on record? That you you saying that this is the literal meaning of that? Yes, this is literally this is what the word muta I mean. Okay, okay, literal. You saying muta actually literal meaning sexual pleasure. Mm. Yes, that's what you saying. Mm. Okay, okay. I will, I will count you on that and come back. I'm gonna come back on that mm. because what I learned this is not the literal meaning. Mm. But um, okay, that's that, that's that's fine if that's what it is. Mm. So I, I, what are my understanding of muta is okay. that it was allowed in the time when there was a war taking place and the men have to leave their homes and the wives mm. behind. So when they go in the other places, and if they are, mm -hmm. are rather instead of raping women or, or doing wrong things, mm -hmm. they just go and agree with the women who want to agree with them. Mm -hmm. So it was in the very extreme situations that was allowed. Correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong there. You did not say anything to correct you or to say. I mean, you are just repeating yourself. Um, you see, I, didn't I, I, I have a, I have a, I, 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 my friend, you see, let us know waste of our, our time. Mm -hmm. You said that the muta. Uh, is is performed after paying dowry, right? That's right. Okay. Yes. And dowry is compulsory. Why the then? Marriage. Why then? You have to mention for how long? If this is um, marriage, if this is marriage, why I have to agree pre-agreed date, which means there's no divorce. When the time is up, the the clock ring, 
Bingo, we are done. If that this is, is marriage. Why, that is why I mentioned mm -hmm. that uh, my understanding of it, it was allowed on any extreme situations mm -hmm. like wars, mm -hmm. whether where you are away from your family. And my friend, that, my that, friend, that this, is, is, this is a lie. This is a lie. You're a prophet, he said. You're a prophet, he said. Here we go. Your prophet did not mention war. He said, any man, any woman, they agree to sleep together for three days, three nights. Why three days? Why three nights? Have you ever heard of a marriage? Go for three days or three nights. What kind that of marriage? What kind of marriage is that? No. The marriage with three days, three nights. But do you know the muta can only also last for 90 years or 80 years? Do you know that? There's no limit on that. No you, limit. You have to put... No, no limit. You can't have a, you mm. can't have a muta for 90 years. Mm. Based, on, based on who? Who is the one who came with this logic? Your prophet? Can uh, you show me the hadith? Uh, the scholars understand it. Oh, see, when, you, when I show you something, you say to me, show me authentic source. When you say no, something, no. You, you say to me the scholar. So I want you to know, your prophet, he mentioned three days, no, three nights. I said to you in the beginning? I said to you, Ibn Kathir, that he's a scholar. He, he, okay, Ibn Kathir, Ibn, okay, Ibn, 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 Ibn Kathir, Ibn, Ibn, my friend, me, my friend, okay, okay, my okay, okay, Ibn Kathir, hold on, do you agree with Ibn Kathir, yes or no? Primary source is Quran. My friend, do you agree, I want you, I want you to say to me, I agree with Ibn Kathir, I want you to swear by Allah. Allah, that you agree with Ibn Kathir. So now you are trying to put me in the box and say everything Ibn Kathir says ah, right. So, you, so when you want Ibn Kathir is a scholar, when you want Ibn Kathir is a donkey. When Ibn Kathir mentioned the same My friend, piece. do you agree with Ibn Kathir or you don't agree? Is Ibn, Ibn Kathir your no. scholar to follow or he I is am, a donkey? I am answering you. Mm. If Ibn Kathir mm. says something, which is either backed by hadith mm -hmm. or even if it doesn't go against any hadith in the Quran, yes, mm -hmm. I will. So you are saying to me that sometime Ibn Kathir, he do poo poo, he says stupid things. As a human being, he can, if he go against the hadith, okay. he can prove What about it. your prophet? He's a human being too. Your prophet is a human being. Do your, your prophet do poo poo too? You agree that because Ibn Kathir is a human being, it is possible he do poo poo. Do your prophet do poo poo? Can you translate poo poo? What do you mean? Poo poo means say stupid things. Uh, I mean wrong. Yeah, Something no, not only wrong, wrong yeah. extremely wrong, stupid. No, no, he would never. No, are you sure? Oh, easy. He did, okay, he, he, okay, he what is the okay, wrong, okay, okay, worldly, okay, okay. no problem. Not, when not when you're a prophet, when you're a, okay, wrong. hold on, when you're a prophet, he allows something. Is that coming from Allah as an order or not from Allah? When he commands something. Mm -hmm. Is it from Allah always, or it's sometimes he, he have a mood, you know, he's moody. He fabricates things. He does advice from his own as well sometimes, yes. He yeah, does. but is it from Allah? Is it sponsored by Allah? No, he's when, inspired. When he, when he advise something from him, that is not from, from Allah. Is right? this one from Allah or from him? The temporary marriage, as you call it, marriage. Uh, if a man or woman agree, this is part of the deen, so it is from Allah, yes. Okay. Is from God. What is it's the wisdom? What is the wisdom that a man and a woman they can sleep together for three days, three nights. As I told you, the wisdom was because it was an extreme. My friend, situation. my friend, always there was war, and today there is war, and nothing changed. Is, do, do, do we don't have war no more now? So uh -huh. why we cannot have why we cannot have it remote today? We have war. Everybody have war. No, name a country for the world for me does not have war. Why in the time of war you can have Dumuta in the time of Muhammad only? But after that, in Muslims Russia. always have war, always have war. This is a lie. You know, since when, yeah. since Muhammad, until now, you Muslims never stop having war. So what is the reason to say? You say to me, if the reason is war, then the war is a reason. Here we go. In Iraq, there's a war. In Syria, there's a war. In Pakistan, there's a war. In Libya, there's a war. Do you, muta, do, you do muta there? Is it halal to do muta? Because there's a war. First of, first of all, it was uh, for some people who really... Would not hold their desire. It's not for everybody. Secondly, there is always people they cannot hold their desire. Are you telling me that people who cannot hold their that. desire? You you just admitted that this is about sex, guys. Did he? Did you see how how they tried themselves? You just admitted that this is a pure sex. There's no marriage there. Somebody he is so horny and he cannot hold himself. But this is not an excuse because always there is people they cannot hold themselves. So what they do? Do muta. So if this is about certain people who cannot hold themselves, I can find you millions of people that cannot hold themselves. You Muslims following the devil. You give excuse as you wish, and obviously your excuses is stupid. How many people can now, how many people they cannot hold themselves today? Are you saying only in the time of Muhammad people they cannot hold themselves? Can I say something now? Mm, go ahead. 
I mean, first, uh, first of all, uh, I never you you trying to say that you just make some point against me. Actually, I did actually say that that it was in the situations of war when they have their wives back home, mm. so they were allowed. Of course, I did never reject that it was something to do with sex or not. Of course not. So you try to you try to make up like you made a point against me. You didn't actually. Uh, secondly. Now uh, we know all only three to six months after Muhammad Hassan uh, cancelled this muta. It's mm -hmm. it's mutawatir uh, hadith telling us he cancelled it. How many Second, how many how many times he cancelled? How many times he, time he cancelled? Those times were different. People were going there for years. How many times? Never uh, uh, a question. 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 How many times your prophet he cancelled and he allowed it? Muta. Yeah. Muta uh, is a mutawatir hadith that. Uh, the, uh, at the time of Haber, he cancelled the e eating the meat of donkey and Buddha. He cancelled both okay. of them at the time of Haber. And did he, he did he allow it again? Uh, not to, to my information. No, he didn't allow it again. He did not. No, he didn't. Mm. What, what if I show you he did? Okay, show me. What will happen then if I show you that he did again? Uh, are you going to show me authentic hadith or the I'm asking you. Difference I'm asking you. Hadith? Okay, I'm asking. I'm asking yeah. you. Did Muhammad forbid the muta only once, and he allowed it only once? I say to my information, yes, he forbid it at the time of Khaybar, and I believe that was only once. It's possible that I my information is lacking. Hmm. But uh, to if, my if if you're a prophet, uh, he allow it. He forbid it. Allow it. Forbid it. Allow it. Forbid. What is the point? Uh, well, then I'll say I'm going to go look deep into it why he allowed it, what was the reason he allowed it. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go, I, I, to be honest, I'm going no to problem. that button. You say, it, me. you say, no problem. You, you said that there are some people they cannot hold themselves, and you said to me, I am fabricating things, making it as if about sex, but you are the one who said it was because of a reason they are in war and there's people who they cannot hold themselves, correct. I say you're fabricating about the prostitution. Don't okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay. This prostitution, anyway. This prostitution. This is prostitution. This is legally no, prostitution. That verse, that verse of the Quran. This is, that verse of and the that Quran, and that verse is about prostitution it too. It says it clearly. It's, it's, it says it clearly. Forbid not your girls if they do. They do desire chastity. We can go. We can go, and we can search right now in the hadith, and we will find. There's there's a book. It's called Muwatta Malik. Have you ever heard of it? Yes. Okay. What the, what the book of Malik speak about prostitution? Is. What that book speak about prostitution? Do you know? You know, Mota Malik is not authentic. You know that. Uh, here we go, not authentic. Here we go. I mean, the Muslims, they, it, this is their guidance of their slavery. Suddenly, it became not authentic. Okay, we go to that. This is why I want you to want you to, to talk about your prophet allowing you for three days, three nights, because simply you are picking up your cherries. You say, this is the one I like. This is the one I don't like. Here we go. You're a prophet. He and you are the one who said to me, the reason for that, there are some people they cannot hold themselves, hold himself what sexually, correct? In the situation of war, no problem. In the situation of war, but they cannot hold themselves Islam, in the. Islam uh, is let me religion. ask you. Let me ask me. In the in the, in the in the situation of war, Islam is a religion like let you do something less sinner than something major sinner. Oh, so Islam allows sin, but the, no, no, the no, no, Islam no, no. allowed Islam sin with degrees. Islam understand human beings, and mm. instead of you going and raping women. Allows, okay. allows you to marry a woman, okay. give her a dowry, and okay. marry her for three days. Okay. Rather than Let me ask you. Going and raping, raping women. All right. Let me ask you. Did Muhammad practice muta? Did Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm. practice muta? Mm. Uh, no. Mm. No. Nope. Mm. We will see that. Read with me this hadith, please. Sahih Muslim, okay. Yeah. Ati reported that Jibir bin Abdullah, um, yeah, Jibir bin Abdullah came to perform Umrah and we came to his abode and the people asked him about different things. And, and then they made a mention of temporary marriage, whereupon he said, yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umrah. Hmm. So Abu Muhammad is dead. Uh, Muhammad is dead, and Abu Bakr and Omar, and they are the caliphate now, and they are practicing muta. Explain it to us. Mm -hmm. We made mention of temporary marriage. Whereupon he said, "Yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this temporary marriage during the lifetime of the Prophet, hmm. and during the time of Abu Bakr and Omar." Hmm. 
Yes, this clearly says that it was even after his lifetime. Thank you. So what happened now? What happened? If it's forbidden, if it's forbidden so, by the Prophet, as Muslims they claim, why you Muslims practice in muta after Muhammad by Abu Bakr and by Umar? Uh, and this is Sahih Muslim, eh? This is Sahih Muslim, Hayat number 1405C. Okay, this is, a, um, can you show me the this category if you don't mind? Here we go. This is the, the number, you see the number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I can't see them. Uh, okay, well, let, let me go see. back. Okay. Can you, you go a little bit up? You see, you, 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 up. you see the number? Do you see the number? Okay, uh, this is yeah, 7405C. Okay. Yeah. okay, fair enough. Right. I think it's authentic. And this is the category. So so Sahih Muslim, the book of marriage. Okay, so we learn from that. Yes. That, so, that, that, that muta'a never, yeah. never been forbidden, obviously. It's a lie. And you Muslims, you Muslims, you fabricate lies. And this is a Sahih Hadith. And this is an authentic. And Omar, he practiced it. And Abu Bakr, he practiced it. And Muhammad, he practiced it. And you Muslims practice it. Yeah, and the whole, and this is not in the time of war. Because we practice it always, always. It's not about war. Here we go. We practice it all the time. And what is that? It is a shameful behavior. It's a prostitution. You go to a woman, you offer her money. Let me ask you, in the case of Muta, is there a divorce? You ask me another if there's a divorce, uh, not to, to explain, to explain, to explain to people, to explain to people what muta is. If, if there is a divorce, no divorce, right? Uh, hang, on. I have to tackle the question before. No, no. Before if there is a divorce, please. No, no, no. Abbas, please, important. please. No, no, no. It's very important. You can, you, we will go back. We have time. We have time until tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm here. My four wives in vacation. And four, my, my four, my four mother-in-law. They went to do jihad. One after the other. I am asking you. Is it true? Is it? Is it true? There is no. Is, is, know, it, is, is it is it a true is it a true you're not going to come back to the, the no we will be back i promise you okay okay i, I will no, go no, back no. i will go back for you what, what is that what do you want to say go ahead, you, go ahead. You, you say you said to me mm. do you know your prophet practice muta mm. and my answer was no he didn't this hadith didn't say that he practiced muta that's the first thing i need to clarify so if i show you that the prophet he okay let, let, let us make it let us let us make it uh, make it clear if I show you that your prophet he did muta, what you will do? Uh, if he practiced muta, what I would do? But I know he didn't practice muta. So I'm asking you, do. if yes, the prophet, yeah, yeah, yes. If he practices muta, then uh, he practices uh, the same thing what he tell the Muslims to do it. Okay, but what is the? Which is not, which is, which but is you not are, but, so why you are making the challenge? Okay, I so know that he didn't. Hmm. I know he didn't. Okay, I know he didn't. So he wouldn't change big, big thing, big time. But why he did it? He was in a war situation and all that. That might change. But that is not what he's done. It was haram? No, he's not a hypocrite telling everybody else you don't do it, but I'll do it. So, but I know for sure that he didn't do it. Secondly, hmm. I want to point another thing. What we prove this hadith proves to me that there is a contradiction among the hadith. Hmm. hmm. Yes. Okay, what if we go in the Quran? Yes, this is a isn't it, is it, isn't it in the Quran? Hold on, you see, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, there's no contradiction. Obviously, it's a lie. All, all your, let me tell you, there's no contradiction. All, all of your stories in Islam is a lie. Let me show you. Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad, he says, any Muslim woman, she want to give her vagina to him, he can have her? Uh, uh, read that verse, please. Read the verse. It's not said whatever the way you said it. Well, you can say whatever you want. The Muslims try to look to, to make it look nicer, but obviously it says any woman she can offer herself to why the prophet. Why don't you? Why don't you write your own of seed? You know, you have a very no problem. Here we go. No, I do not. Need, be I will show you. I will show you. I, I will show you. You like Ibn Kathir, don't you? When I, I respect Ibn Kathir, Ibn mm. Abbas, they all respect them, but okay. I say they So here we go, you don't like Ibn Kathir no more. So what you're saying to me, this is my interpretation. Here we go in front of you. Any Muslim woman, she can give her vagina to the Prophet so he can F her. Is this his muta or not? Is that marriage? Okay. Oh, Prophet, we have made lawful to you thy wives to whom thou hast paid their dowers. Mm. And those whom thy right hand possess mm. out of the prisoners of war, meaning the, mm. the slaves of war. Mm. Uh, whom Allah has assigned, assigned to thee, mm. and daughters of the paternal uncles, aunts. Uh, so the, these are the all you are allowed to marry. Mm. Uh, where does it say that the last bit you? What there, you there's say? nowhere it says uh, allowed to marry, and this is about a woman offering herself for no, no. sex. Okay. Where? Where okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's, it's in front of me. You don't speak Arabic. This is the problem. The, the Arabian translation is a lie. There's no. Oh, there's no marriage. Yeah. 
It says it's lawful for you, your wives. Already they are wives. They are already wives. This is talking about sex. Are you going to be married your wives? Are you? It says in the laka azwajaka. Do you know what azwajaka mean? Your wives, correct? Okay, so what the verse is speaking about is what is lawful for him. It's not about marrying them. They are already his wives. So it's lawful for you, your wives, the one who you pay them their dowry. And those, which means sex here, yes. this is about sex. And those who they are right and persist, you can have sex with them. They are not wives. And then, and no, any, no, no, no. Uh, they are wives. They are wives. Who, okay, are wives. name for me yeah. one of the slaves of Muhammad. Uh, as an example, Mary the Cup, she was, she was Muhammad's favorite sex slave. Did he marry her? Yeah, that was a given gift from the... Doesn't matter. Did he marry her? Did he marry her? She is his slave. Uh, no, he didn't marry her. Okay, no, so thank you. Let us continue then. And then, and you're the, the daughter of your cousin and the daughter of your cousin from your uncle's side, your, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then, وَإِمْرَأَ مُؤْمِنَ وَهَبَتْ نَفْسَهَا للنبي. And any believing woman, she gave herself to the Prophet. It doesn't say to marry her. And it says, يَسْتَنْكِحُهَا To if her. Yes, thank you. Is to if her. It's a, it's a continual verb. Do you marry a woman every day? The same woman? No. There's no marriage here. This is yes, thank you. To if her. It's a privilege only to the Prophet. Now, I want you to name for me one woman she gave herself to the Prophet as a gift for sex and she became his wife. Name one. Okay. Who? Uh, no, I can't name you any. But can Why? I ask you a question? Because none of can them I... is wives. Because none of can them I... is a wife. Those can are I... for those are for muda. Can I ask you a question? The different here. Yes. Hold on. Can I, the, can I ask you a reverse hold, question? Hold on. The different here between you the muta. Hold on, man. You can't hold on. Wait, I'm wait. Honestly. The so different, the different between the muta of your prophet <laughs> and the muta of the Muslims. The prophet he get it for free. The muta of the the Muslims they have to pay, and this is Quran. Why the prophet? Let me, Let me ask you, yes. what what Let is the benefit? The what is the benefit of the translation? Okay, no problem. No problem. What is the benefit that will do to your prophet religion that he is allowed to sleep with women who offer themselves? What that would do as a benefit for Islam? Okay. Can you go to the translation, please? Because okay. I want to make a point. Mm. Now you asked me a very good question. Uh, <laughs> name me one woman that she he slept with. And he married her. No, yes? no. A woman, no, no, a woman, no, 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 no this is not a question, not a question. A woman, she offered herself wahhabat. From those yes. who wahhabat themselves, she became his wife. Who? Okay. No, yeah, I say, I don't know. Okay? Mm. All right. Now, my question is to you, and, and you seems to be like you made some great point here. Mm. Oh, look, he couldn't name anyone. Mm. Now, my reverse question to you is, name me one woman who offered uh, to the Prophet and he slept with her. Uh, you, are you going to find you all of them? No, no, no. Name me one woman. So are you saying to me, your prophet, he may, he, he said you can sleep with me, but he did not sleep with anyone? Uh, yeah, exactly. Thank ah, you. Ah, okay. Allah, Allah, Allah says to him, mm. if anybody come and offer you, and then, but, the, but name me one, he okay. does. But he didn't, you just but he said something very stupid. You just said something very stupid. Allah, he said no, to I Muhammad, didn't. hold on. I know exactly, you just said, I know exactly what I said. You just exactly said, oh, said. hold on, let me talk. Say, let me talk. I'm going to say Allah is allowing him to sleep with the woman. Oh, let I, know me, exactly. let me, I know that's how I said that. Let me talk. Let me talk. You just said that Allah, he allowed him, but no women, they sleep with him, correct? Yep. Okay. I didn't say anything stupid. Do Allah knew the future? Allah knows everything. Of okay, if he knew that there's nobody will sleep with him anyway, so what's the point of saying any woman she can sleep with you of those who offer themselves? Now you say something very stupid. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because did any of the Muhammad's recent wives divorce him? Did he divorce any of his wives? My friend, I'm asking you, don't change the topic and we will go there. No, I'm not changing the topic. Yeah. You're saying, talking about Allah's knowing the Yes, Muhammad, Muhammad, Allah. he wanted to divorce his wife, but Aisha, she prevented him because Sauda bin to them, she offered, she asked him that Sauda, she offered her day for me and I can show you the reference from authentic That's hadith from Sahih Bukhari. That's not the question. The question was, did he divorce any of his wives? He was going to divorce. No, no, did he? Yes or no? Well, almost he did. Well, no, almost is and let me And let me, let me, let me tell you why he did not. Let me tell you why he did not. Because Muhammad is a very jealous man. No. Why Muhammad did not divorce his wife? Because if they divorce him, they will sleep, they will sleep with a new man. Is that correct? <laughs> Answer is no, he didn't divorce anyone. Why? 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 Because? Because he don't allow anyone. Because he don't. Hold on. Because he don't allow anyone to f his right. wives after him. Is that a true or I'm lying? No, no, but 
No, no. Oh, man. I'm, I'm asking you, is it true? Is it true? I that Muhammad, point. Is, it, is it true? Is it is it true? Is it true that the prophet, if he divorce his wife or he die, nobody can f his wife? Yes or no? That's right. Yes. Why? Ah. Why? Uh, because they were the mothers of the believers. What does that mean? It's like it's like I tell you why. It's like a, a king has mm. wives, queen, yeah. Okay. And after the king die, then the somebody who was subordinates of the kings, they're going to have a queen as their uh, wives so it's like queen coming down in level so in the same way Muhammad's wives were the mothers of the believers the, the wives of the prophets mm. so marrying anybody non-profit is like coming down from okay. their level. let us see how we stupid so for their own let us see how we stupid your answer is respect. let us see how we stupid your answer okay. if we ask a muslim if a woman her husband he die why it's better for her to marry they will say to prevent herself from sin is that correct No, what are you talking about? Man? If a Muslim the woman, she, Islam if a Muslim Islam. woman, if a Muslim woman, she, her husband die, is it yeah. better for her to marry because that will prevent her from sin? Isn't it your prophet? He said that it's better for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I misunderstood your question. Yes, okay. yes. of course. So that, here we go. The prophet wife, the prophet, husband. the prophet wives, Muhammad is dead. Aisha, she is 18 years old when Muhammad, he died. Muhammad, he forbid his wife from doing sex, legally or illegally, correct? And they will get reward for that. Okay, and what they okay they will do get reward where? Why Muhammad he don't hold himself from sex? Why a Muslim man he can marry as many as he wish? But when it's come to the wives of Muhammad, here we go. The husband he die, and the girl she is seventeen, going in the eighteen, and yet she cannot marry, which is right for every human being to have. Why Muhammad is in the grave, but he's he's holding those human being as his slaves. So what if he, she was his wife? Why Muhammad he marry Khadija? Khadija, was, uh, Khadija, if Muhammad is a person who don't agree that someone should sleep with his wife, isn't it Khadija was a previously married? She was, yes. Okay, with two husbands, correct? With two husbands before him, which means two men they slept with her. Yeah. If the honor of the Prophet will be oh, disgu no. will be disgusting for the honor of the Prophet that his wife is sleeping with the other man, what is the difference will make if you sleep before or after? You see how silly what you just said? How nonsense what you just said? You are the one who's you saying say to me that we should not no, 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 we should, no, no, no. not sleep with them. I'm, I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Mm. None of the wives of the prophets ever slept with another man. What do you and mean? You know what I mean? What do you mean? You know what I mean? When Khadija slept with the other man, she was not a wife of the prophet. Mm. Really? So none of the wives of the prophet ever slept. Sauda had a husband before. Mm. Even the Jewish Sophia. All of them. All of them. They have wives. Even all of them. Maria, the only one who don't have a husband before. Maria. Yes. So okay. Meaning, meaning, meaning. Once they become wife, mm. after that they didn't slept with anyone. Mm. So he said his honor has not. If you talk about. The so honor, you are saying to me. You are saying to me. You as a Muslim, your honor will be destroyed if your wife, after you, she marry a new husband. No, I'm not a. Prophet, man, come on, what are you talking so about? So what is making you special if you are a prophet? What does that mean? Are you are you above mankind if you are a prophet? So you're telling me, prophet? Are you above mankind? What, what, so what is the big deal? Like, you know, here we go. This vagina is reserved for you. Your honor is there in that it's hole. Like, it's like a king. The king, he have a hole. The guy is the king, he have a vagina. And nobody can touch the vagina of that king after his death. You are saying that to me. No, no, no. I'm just saying the special position king have a special why position. no this is no special position no this is not true a king a king he die his wife she can get married this is a lie so now why you're a prophet he will not allow his wife to marry again tell me one thing when the queen a woman of a wife of a king she has some special honor yes when she marries somebody less than the king mm -hmm. Then she is not in that special position. Is well, your prophet was not a king, and he was a savage man, isn't it? A woman who Muhammad tried to force her into sex. She said to him that you are a savage and you are from the trash. Is that true? Prophets, prophets are more special than kings ever can. Isn't it true? Isn't talking? it true that the woman she said to your prophet, you are a savage and trashy person? Um, many people say many horrible things to him, of course. No, he tried to force her into sex. He said, how for a queen she gave herself to a suqa, which means the trashy. You are a piece of a trash. Is that true? 
people call Jesus uh, possessed by the My friend, Jesus did oh. not try to sleep with women and did not force them into sex. I'm asking you. Is it true? 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 Is it true that your prophet he of you know he tried to sleep with the women and she said to him, How a, a queen, she is a queen. How for a queen like me will sleep with a savage, trashy person like you? I'm I, I'm, I, I am making up things. I don't even know this hadith, but I think you're lying. How about that? Okay, let's wrong. see. Yeah, let us find the habit. I, I, I don't think he met any queen in his lifetime. <laughs> there was no queens in that Arabia. No, my what friend, are you, talking about? you are you are an ignorant man. Okay, okay, fair enough. But uh, can I tell you about your? No, before, actually? before, let us go and oh, see the hadith about the one you say why I'm lying. I ask you a question about your. Hold on, hold on, just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not I done. We're not done. About five, six times before. Okay, never, hold, on. Never hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Will you allow me one question from the Bible? Yeah, just can I, refute you know, your own. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, Actually, you are accusing your own God. You just want to change your topic. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. I, I let me address this. But can will you allow me one question from the Bible? I just want to are, see. Are we, are we done? Defend. Are we done with the muta? No, we are not talking about muta right now. We are going everywhere, and I'm going with you. Yeah, we are not. not no, we are, Muslim, no, we are with the muta. We are still I'm with the muta. Shy, I'm not shy of my religion at all. Mm. I will. I. I will. Uh, you uh, are uh, not shy. Okay, you are not I shy. I will hold okay. the devil by the horns. All I'm right. I'm okay, 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 okay. Because I know Islam is the truth, mm. and and all these ignorant Muslims sometimes come and they. You show the okay. guy. Oh, look at the orphan. Oh, oh you can okay. the orphan. The guy say, Oh, because of orphan, I'm leaving Islam. What a stupid uh, man he was. He didn't even, even ask you uh, what is the interpretation, what Ibn Abbas says about that, with Ibn Qadir about that. You say, oh, orphan, I'm leaving Islam. What a stupid man. Is okay. that what is religion? Is we better off without people like that? All right. Islam is better off with... Obviously, your prophet is a perverted man. He he is willing to sleep with all the women, and even they are married to many men before him, but you cannot sleep with his wives, and this is an offer from God. And when I asked you why Allah, he said to Muhammad, any believing jealous? women, any believing, I'm jealous, I, I, I'm disgusted with this behavior. What just, uh, jealous? No. if I am jealous, I will convert to Islam and I have four, four of your sister for me in my bed. This is how faith is cut. I refuse to be part of this. If I am a, if I am a jealous, I will convert to Islam wow. and I will go it's and marry four, four, yeah. four women, four women in my bed, four women in my bed CP. right now if I convert to Islam. And this CP. is why I reject Islam. Listen, listen, CP. listen, listen, listen. So you think it's filthy? So you think it's filthy behavior? Islam is a filthy behavior. It's filthy when you say, when you so say, you let, let, let me ask you, let me ask you, is the sexual pleasure, is the sexual privilege to your prophet was only privilege to Muhammad, yes or no? Sexual privilege? Yeah, like a woman, she can give herself to the prophet. Is that only for the prophet or no? Uh, according to the Quran, yes. Okay, why? Why? What he? Why he need? He have thirteen wives. He have many sex slaves. Why he need additional a privilege about sex? What for? That's for the marriage. If some what marriage? He have already many wives. And then he can have more wives. Okay, now those are women. You they are what? offering themselves. You they are not wives. I, I say to you, name for me as an example. Um Salim, she offer herself to the Prophet. Why the Muslim don't count her as a as a as a wife? Okay, where is that? He says Umm Salim, and he never married with yeah, her. But okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. And first of all, the psychology behind it, philosophy behind it, uh -huh. that many women desire to marry with this special man of. God. Is it is it a shameful I mean, thing? Is it a shameful thing to offer yourself in Islam to a man to sleep with you? In marriage, in marriage is not. Shameful. What marriage? There's no marriage. Not even one woman of those. They, not my my friend. Don't don't don't, are, don't stop stop lying to yourself. Here we go. This is your I'm prophet not, wife. I this is this is Aisha. This is Aisha saying, "Is it a woman ashamed? Uh, is, it a, is it a woman ashamed that she will mar she will give herself to a man? Do you see it? Wouldn't doesn't a woman doesn't a woman a lady feel ashamed of presenting herself to a man? There's no marriage. They are presenting uh, themselves to a man. Who is this man? Muhammad. Why? Let me read it. Akhola uh, bint Hakim was yeah. one of those ladies who presented themselves to the Prophet for, for, mm. for, mm. for marriage. My friend, my friend, my, my friend, 
It doesn't say here we go in Arabic. It doesn't say just to show you how stupid you are. With my respect to you, it you says wahabna anfusahunna. There's no marriage. I tell you to show me the word marriage. Do you see the word marriage? Okay. Do you see the word marriage? Do you see the word marriage? Wahabna anfusahunna. They gave themselves. This is a false translation. Continue. Why Aisha? If this is marriage, why she is saying? Isn't it a woman? She is ashamed to give herself. If this yeah, is marriage, scholars, all these scholars, they don't know Arabic. Who, who is a scholar? Who is a scholar? Who is a scholar? This is English you translation, know. you donkey. This is English translation. Can oh, I? The one who translates this is a scholar now. <laughs> Show me the word marriage in Arabic. Here we go. In the front, no, in the front this, of me, this, my, my friend. In the front of me. Show me the word marriage. Here we go. You say I'm not your friend. Am I a friend or not friend? I, I say I being sarcastic. I being sarcastic. I being sarcastic. Oh, okay. I don't mean oh, it. Yeah. Man. Sorry. I, you because know, I think you have, you've been psychotic. Your psychotic yeah. is the one. Okay, let us go to psychotic. Isn't it your prophet who imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not? Okay, well, hang on a minute. Um, this is those writing these these books. I'm, I'm sure they know Arabic, yeah. Okay. So I'm go. I'm going to go by what Psy the, Mr. Psychotic, Michael Psychotic. Muhammad, he asked women to sleep with him, but yet he cannot have sex. Explain that to me, Mr. Can psychotic. I can I read the hadith? How yeah, Muhammad, how Muhammad, how, how Khawla ibn Haq, uh, 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 Muslim, she came to Muhammad, she opened her legs, she said, Prophet, if me. And then Aisha, she felt so bad. She said, what kind of a woman? She is ashamed, not ashamed of asking for such a thing. And then we know later that Khawla ibn Hakim is the, is the auntie of Muhammad. Is it this woman, she is the auntie of Muhammad? Is that your hadith or my friend? Is it Khawla bin to Hakim? Is it is it Khawla bin to Hakim is the anti of your prophet? You change the hadith, you know. I'm not. This is here we go. The hadith in front of you are back. Okay. Can I read it? Can is this read woman it? who yeah. offer herself? If this woman is this woman who offer himself to the prophet, is she the anti of your prophet? I want to read this hadith. Go ahead. I want to read this hadith. Yeah, okay. Khawla bin to Hakim was one of those ladies who presented themselves to the prophet for mm -hmm. marriage. Aisha Radiallahu said, doesn't a lady feel ashamed for presenting herself to a man? But when the words, uh, uh, oh Muhammad, uh, you may postpone uh, that you please, was revealed. Aisha Radiallahu said, oh Allah's messenger, I do not see, but that your Lord hurries in pleasing you. Mm. Okay, that's Aisha as a wife, as, mm. a, as a jealous. I um, mean, wives can be jealous. She mm. says, why Muhammad Sassam is, is given this thing, uh, permission? And But remember, Marriage for for marriage. It does not say that he slept with a woman without marriage. So your accusation mm -hmm. that he slept with a woman without marriage is not in the hadith. It, it doesn't say that either he married her or he didn't marry her. Or either he slept her. You want to? You need to show okay. me. Okay. Okay. Show me the, the show me the rest of the story. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see, I go about what your Islamic reference showing. Khawla bin to Hakim is the but, auntie of your prophet, and she is offering her prophet. You are saying that here she is offering herself to a marriage. How Khawla bin to Hakim, she is his auntie, and she is offering herself into marriage as you claim. I was one of the ladies. Okay, uh, now you need to show me that Khawla bin to Hakim is, a, is not only auntie, but it's a very close relation auntie. Not only auntie. Well, oh, remember oh, the words. Okay. Of, remember the verse of the Quran, which says that the, which are prohibited for you to marry and which are not. So show me this Khawla bin to Hakim is her, his aunt and the close aunt, uh, blood relation. That which is not allowed in Islam. Mm. Show me that. Okay, it is. Make your case. All right. Make a make a claim. You need to show me. Okay. Allah bin the Hakim was his aunt and the close relation, which is not allowed in Islam. Mm. Okay, here we go. You can't. I even don't know, but okay. I know okay. Sure. okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. We don't say things without proof, my friend. Here we go. It will take me a second and it will show you and you will be sorry. One minute before you go anywhere. Oh no, before I go anywhere, here we go. I get I get the reference. I get the reference. I got the reference in the front of my eyes, and here we go. This is the book. Musnad Khawla bin to Hakim. Shut up. Musnad Khawla bin to Hakim. It says here. In the Khawla bin to Hakim, in the Khawla bin to Hakim is Sulmiya, here, Ehda Khalatu Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sa'alat al Nabi, and in Mara Tahtalim. She asked the Prophet about a woman she see a water and she have orgasm in her vagina. Explain to me how this happened. Oh, explain what? Say that again. She asked the Prophet, she asked the Prophet, she asked the Prophet about seeing water in her vagina because she have orgasm. 
She is his, she is his auntie. Huh? Mm -hmm. She is one of the auntie of your prophet. Oh, and I see. So any woman ask. Her friend, what yes. any woman ask? What any woman ask? I show you the hadith. I show you the hadith says that she offer herself to the prophet. What's wrong with you? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes, yes, I so agree with how that. she I is the that. auntie of Muhammad and yet she is offering herself to sleep with no. him? No. Well, does it say his, this is his auntie with the blood relation? It's in the front here. It says auntie. What do you mean that blood relation? It says well, I, none of my business. None of my none of my business. This is your business. Oh, okay. Man. You know what the Christians normally blame Muslims that we always hide behind Arabic. My and friend, this is isn't this is what isn't this is what Muhammad Hijab he said to David Wood. And now I know this is coming. You do not know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic. Suddenly now you cannot do it. Is that my fault? At least David Wood, at least David Wood, he is not a Muslim. You are a Muslim. You pray to Allah in Arabic. You recite Quran in Arabic. You ask Allah in Arabic, and yet you do not know Arabic. Who is the donkey here? And now I'm asking you, did, did Khawla bin Hakim offer herself to the Prophet in sex? Yes or no? Uh, for marriage. Okay, what marriage? Where is the word marriage? Oh, you see, you're hiding. Anyway, listen. And how she offered herself in marriage, but she you is his auntie. Now hold on. Let me you ask you. Me let me ask you. Okay. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Did, did the same woman come to your prophet, and she said to him that she is having orgasm and she is touching herself? Should she wash? Mm -hmm. Is and that the, the same woman? Why this woman? Why she is horny and why she is filthy? Why? Why? I'm showing you the English now. Why this woman? She is. Here we go. This is Ummu Salim. You know, she is the same woman. She is coming to Muhammad, saying to Muhammad oh. that she is having orgasm after touching herself. Mm. Mm. Is not ashamed of the truth is it, but what are we? This is not. This is Umm Salama. What are you talking about here? Umm Salama is you the wife of show. Muhammad. You idiot. Umm Salim is the one who's asking. Umm Salam went to the apostle. Yeah, who's mm. Umm Salam here? Who's Umm Salam? Oh. Lord, have so mercy. you need to show me my friend. Ummu me the other woman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ummu Salama, Ummu Salama, and Ummu Salim. This is the translation of the Muslim stupid translation. It says in Arabic, "Inna Ummu Salim." This is the same Ummu women. Salim. The same women. Oh. Okay. Look. I don't, be, I don't believe you. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let us say. I don't believe. No problem. You. Would, what, what kind of you? what kind of this what kind of a woman? Is different. My friend. My friend. is different name, and so Ummu Salim is different. Why should I believe you? Khawla, I'm sorry, she is not the same one. Well, she prove it to me. This is the same one. Okay, we will. Me so we will keep going. Arabic. We will keep going. Each time I say something to you, say prove it to me, and I prove it to you. And you say, I say to me, I don't read Arabic, and I don't know. I am a donkey. I'm a stupid. Now let, let focus with me. Focus with me. What kind of a woman? What kind of what kind of a woman? I'm going to prove it to you that this is our, his auntie. I showed you. Here we go. Here we go. It's in the front of you. What about you call you make a Muslim who speak Arabic to join you in the in the conversation and let me talk, talk. Can you do that? Tell, tell don't tell me, you. don't I, tell me from I, all I, the Muslims. You. Don't tell me, don't don't, no, don't no tell me, there. don't tell me from all the Muslims you know that even one of them he speak Arabic. Same one. Well, she prove it to me. That's the same one. Okay, we will. So we will keep going. Arabic. We will keep going. Each time I say something to you, say prove it to me, and I prove it to you. And you say, I say to me, I don't read Arabic, and I don't know. I, I'm a donkey. I'm a stupid. Now let, let focus with me. Focus with me. What you kind of a woman? Focus, what kind of what kind of a woman? I'm going to prove it to you that this is our, his auntie. I showed you. Here we go. Here we go. It's in the front of you. What about you? Call you make a Muslim who speak Arabic to join you in the in the conversation and let me talk. talk. Can you do that? Well, that don't tell me, I, don't I, tell me from I, all the Muslims. I, 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 don't tell me, you don't, no, don't no tell me, there. don't tell me from all the Muslims you know that even one of them he speak Arabic. What What is your point? The point is, I am showing you the reference. Oh, what you said no, to no, me, no. I do not know Arabic. Wait, 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 can you make a Muslim? Can you make a Muslim? Where does it say Khawla bint Hakim is his auntie? Where's the Arabic word for it? It says here, nabi, you idiot. <laughs> it says here. It's highlighted in, in yellow. Wahiya ihda khalat un nabi. What that means? What would that mean? Wahiya ahdi khalat un nabi. Khalat mean anti. She is one of the antis of the Prophet. So and she is the same one. And let me get you busted. And let me get you busted. And she is the same one. Sa'alat un nabi. Shut up. Long time. Let me get you busted. And she is the same one. She said, Sa'alat un nabi. 
of a woman she have a wet dream and this is exactly shut up shut up shut up and this is the same woman same woman here appearing in the story you know you're going to have a heart attack you know that you need to calm down my friend Muslims are living Islam left and right. Look how faithy, look how faithy your prophet is. So look what we will jump. We, 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 we spoke about Muhammad allowing prostitution. Force not your girls into prostitution. We asked this guy, which interpretation you like? He said, Ibn Kathir. You said to him, do you like Ibn Kathir? He said, only in that interpretation. Now, if we go to Ibn Kathir in English and we read it in English, are you going to agree with him? Yes or no? When is my time going to come? When is my time going to come? I'm going to ask you a question. When can I have? So, do you agree that prostitution in Islam is legal? Yes or no? After all this conversation, oh, I almost forgot about we talking about prostitution. No, we are all all this conversation about you, you because Muta, because Muta, hold on, because Muta is a prostitution. Women offering themselves to the Prophet is a prostitution. Uh, by, the uh, of, uh, 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 by the grace of Allah, Muhammad uh, uh, as a, as a messenger of God, mm. he he make it. Uh, Cancelled uh, according to one mutawatir hadith. But okay, you, hold on. Hadith okay, let me ask you why why he cancelled it? Why he can why? Okay, let us go. Why he cancelled it? He's a messenger of Allah. Okay, but Allah, he said you do muta. That, Which one is more important for you? How Muhammad can cancel Allah teaching? The messengers are there to interpret uh, the things of Allah. What Allah allowed. My friend, if Allah allowed, who is Muhammad to say I am not going to allow? Isn't it the Quran says you do muta? That is a very good question. Who was Muhammad? That is a very important question. Who mm. is Muhammad? Mm. He is messenger of Allah. Okay, how the messenger of Allah can believe that the order of Allah is the, is the is the messenger of Allah is higher than Allah? How Allah he say you no. do muta and then Muhammad he says you don't do muta. That's why Allah subhanahu wa taala say obey Allah and obey His messenger. Oh, so so so, so which one which one we obey? His messenger. No problem. So which one we obey? Allah or Muhammad? If in case there's contradiction. You are the one who said to me if uh, before that if there's a contradiction in the hadith with the Quran, we take the Quran, correct? Absolutely. Okay, yes. here we go. The Quran says you do muta. The hadith says you don't do muta. So how come you take the Quran now, not, but you take the hadith? How come you, you take what is contradiction in the Quran over the Quran? You Muslims are hypocrites. When you want to run away from the hadith, you say, oh, this hadith contradicts the Quran, so we don't accept it. Here we go. The Quran says you do muta. No, can I, can I answer that? Can hmm. I answer you? I, I'm taking a lot of your time. I'm sorry about that, but can I answer No that? problem. Uh, you know, I heard you once. You said a beautiful thing, and you say many things. You say very good things about it. You sound like a like a proper Muslim when you talk about things. Hmm. And you said, like you know, when I read things, I don't just read them. I swim in them. I go into deep into things. Hmm. I swim along understand better things mm. but you didn't you you don't do that when you read islam and the quran i'll mm. tell you why mm. you said allah says you do muta and muhammad also said you don't do muta mm. and he said don't so which one you follow first of all i'll let me correct you allah says you can do muta mm. and hadith also say you can do muta in the beginning yes okay. but allah never says you muta is there for for you forever why First of all, it never says. That. Yeah, Allah allowed that at that time. Okay. Allah says that. Hold on. You muta. Hold on. And then before you continue, before you continue, messenger came along. Before you continue, his before messenger you, came you, along. And he hold says, on. Now I'm making this haram for you. Okay. And he as a messenger. Okay. Hold on. He, he, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, your prophet did he ever made forbidden or lawful or unlawful by and uh, Allah did not agree with him. Oh, uh, you're going to tell me about that he uh, promised that he's not going to eat honey or he's not going to sleep with his wife. That's what you're going to say, so uh, Tahrim, yeah? <laughs> mm, yeah. Did he yeah, forbid so, things which is not you, lawful you, for him? You, your understanding is wrong. Okay. What is that verse he, about? He didn't, make, he, he, he didn't make haram for all of us. Mm. He just says, okay, I'm not going to eat it. And Allah never eat says... It, eat that, what? Eat what? Well, what people say is about honey, and some people say it's sleeping with his wife, a uh, sex slave. Oh, sorry, not sex slave, sorry, it's uh, Maria. Uh, there are two different interpretations. One, one interpretation says mm. he was the wife, it says you're smelling, your honey smells. Mm. So he said, okay, I'm not going to eat honey But anymore. isn't you Muslim, yeah. you follow the Sunnah. Whatever Muhammad, he forbid, you forbid. If he forbid it, all yeah, of you follow. He forbid, no, 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 no. When he, when he ordered us not mm. to do that, then. If he orders something for, if he says something for himself, mm. that's up to himself. 
Okay. You can, but, you can, okay. you can, but, you okay. cannot do it. It's, okay. it's, no, that, him. That, that's not of the Muhammad. No, that's uh, uh, not of the Muhammad. Uh, 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 I, I say. Hold on, 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 hold on. You know that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But when you say that Muhammad, he forbid himself from having sex with his slave, and Allah, he said to him, "Why you forbid yourself from having sex with your slave? Why Allah is saying that to him?" No, well, there are two different interpretations. Which one you I like, mean, Ibn Kathir, or which one? Which one you like, Ibn no. Kathir? No, no, no. Read whatever you like. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm telling you both. Mm. One is this that he never says, "I'm never going to sleep with this woman." Mm. He say, "I am not going to sleep in your house." That's really? What he promises. That's a lie. Because he, he because he was in the high house of Hafsa. Okay, think. show me the reference. Uh, I I read in the um, mm. tafsir. No, which um, tafsir? Which correct, tafsir? Correct me, correct me. Look, let's say, correct me. Uh, what I say, I found wrong. What I said, mm. correct me then. Mm. Well, I, I read it. No problem. He promised. Okay. I think it's Jalalain. I think it's Jalalain. Jalalain. Okay, we will go to Jalalain. No I think problem. it's in Jalalain. No problem. That he says to his wife, "I'm not going to. Be, don't tell anybody else. I'm not going to sleep with her." And because he was in 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 her, in her house, no house of Hafsa. We will go to Jalalain, my friend. Let us see. But but what's your point here? The, the point know. is the point is that your prophet he ordered he said um, he just to make his wife happy because they were so upset for his perverted man he said I'm not I swear I will not sleep with her but then after that he uh, uh, he got horny and he broke his oath and he fabricated a verse saying Allah told me Allah told me why well, you are forbidden her what I can do she is lawful for you this is a jalalain my friend is that a jalalain? Is that a Jalani? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, well, I didn't read it. I, I can't see it if it says Jalani. Why? Read it. Uh, here we go. It says in front of me, a Jalani. It says a Jalani. Okay. Uh, yes, it All does. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Prophet, why you forbid that God made lawful for you in the terms of your Coptic hand, uh, handmaid, Maria, when they lay with her in the house of Hafsa, who had been away, but when, uh, when upon re return, finding out become upset, and by the fact this is had taken in a place in her own house and in her bed by saying she is unlawful for me seeking by making her unlawful for you please your wives so Allah Allah the God of Islam uh, here mm -hmm. confessing that Muhammad was having sex in the bed of Hafsa correct mm -hmm. okay and when Hafsa wrong. was away correct yeah. What's okay. Wrong with it? Hafsa, she What's came wrong back. With she came back and she found Muhammad in her bed, effing that woman. Now, yeah. Muhammad, he said, "I swear by Allah, I will not eff her no more." Mm, she's unlawful. Okay, she's unlawful for me. Okay, that's it. She's unlawful. Fly, Allah, he made a verse. Allah, Allah, Allah. Okay, Allah, he made a verse saying, "Why you are saying she's unlawful for you when Allah he made her lawful for you?" Do you agree? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Here are my challenges for you. I challenge show me one verse in the Quran. It says that a slave which is a gift is lawful for a Muslim to sleep with. Uh, no, well, let's say what your right hand possess. No, right hand right possess hand. is only captive. Don't lie. Right hand no, possess is only. Right hand possess is only captive. Okay, which interpretation you like me? Okay, hold right on. Which, in, means... which interpretation you like me to show you? No, Choose for I me the best interpretation you like. Hold on. I, I don't. I don't want any interpretation. No, you want interpretation, brother. You have to cast your interpretation. I want Quran. You get the Quran. Yes, Malakat Aymanakum is only, only slave girls from war. Only. Okay, show me the verse. I challenge you to choose interpretation. That, that, that. No, no. Show me. The, no, no. Show me the verse of the Quran. We say when it says only right hand possess, meaning only the slaves from the booty of the war. Mm. Show me that. See, a second ago, when I showed you the the the, the verse about, uh, uh, it says that only like uh, it says, uh, 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 forbidden for you to uh, uh, don't force, sorry, force not your girls to do prostitution unless if they choose a chastity. You said to me, show me where it says, where it says you can do prostitution, right? Well, it says that. Yeah. And you said to me, this yeah. is your interpretation. And now you are giving interpretation of yourself. You are saying to me, oh, show me where it says, you are, you are saying to me, show me where it says that Malakat Aymanakum mean only captive of war. You see how hypocrite you are? 
different with you know, isn't it you isn't it you who asked me isn't it you who asked me different. isn't it you who asked me to go to Ibn Kathir can we go to Ibn Kathir to check the same thing or no for your own okay facility. okay my friend okay forget I'm about Ibn Kathir you don't like Ibn Kathir what about Ajalain is, is, okay? is, okay is it okay is it okay to go to Ajalain ah shut up which which interpretation in the world in the whole world agree with you name one okay I'm going to go interpretation but before I say this thing I will go interpretation but before I be going to interpretation one thing is for sure mm. this words mm. which your right hands possess mm. it did not clearly anywhere in the Quran says that that means your uh, booty from the world but that's for mm. sure Quran never says right hand possess mean booty from the world that's clear yes now we can go to any interpretation you like what what what, what? Say again. Uh, you say, you say, right hand possess only means the slaves from war. Yes, that's yeah. what you said. Yes, yeah. yeah. According to you, I say, I ask you, show me where it says in the Quran. You, one thing is we understand is not clearly says anywhere in the. Okay, Quran, so what we would do now? What your right what hand we would do now? Mean. Okay. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's what we would do now? No, no. Shouldn't, shouldn't we go? Shouldn't we go? Okay. Hold on. So how we would understand? What? How we would understand who is the right hand process according to you now? What we would do? You as a Muslim, as long the Quran does not make it clear, how you will find what is the real meaning? Right hand I'm telling you, right hand possess means slave. That's it. Okay. Slave what? Slave what? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So I'm asking you, I'm a, hold on, okay, what kind, what kind of a slave, what kind of a slave, okay, what kind of a slave, is it a slave from war or a slave from buying and selling, or a In gift? Islam, you cannot hmm. buy, a, you can't buy a slave to be your slave, you, you can cannot? only do this, that there's somebody who, no, 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 you no, cannot, no, somebody who's, no, 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 someone who's already a slave, you can buy a slave, but you cannot make a slave, a free person, apart from the war. So if somebody give you hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you cannot make you cannot make someone a slave you cannot make a slave far from the war which means you capture people and enslave them you can't make a free person your slave unless it's in the war okay you can't just so here we go you just confess that those are a slave of war okay you just say to me that you cannot make a free man unless it is a free person a slave unless it's a war is that all I said. You, you, this is what you said. What, repeat again. Go ahead. I say, I say a few things. I didn't say. I say you cannot make a free person mm. your slave unless it be from the war. Or you can buy who's already a slave. You can buy that slave. Or somebody give you a gift who's a slave. Mm. That is all allowed in Islam, and that is all what your right hand possess. And Maria was that. She mm. was given by the Egyptian. Uh, I think queen, king of Alexandria or king or whatever you call them mm. uh, he gave the present two mm. slave girls to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mm. he kept Maria and he gave another one to another his companion mm. so yes she was his slave uh, mm. in, in that sense mm. in the complete sense so how we right. will solve this problem after all this talk blah 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 which interpretation would you like me to read for you no the what we understood right now so you are saying to me are you saying to me all interpretation agree with me and they don't agree with you I'm not saying that. Saying okay, so I'm asking you, what interpretation agree with you? What which interpretation agree with you that right hand process the malikat aymanakum does not mean inclusively only slave from war? Which interpretation agree with you? Okay, uh, I am not um, well versed in interpretation, so read any interpretation and let's okay. analyze it because your right. understandings are most of the time I find very twisted understanding. All right. Let us go and see which, 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 verse, which verse which verse you want me to show you. Here we go. All those verses, all those verses in front of us speaking about right hand process. Which one you like me to, to just to show you? I'm not I don't any, care which one. Any any you like. Give okay. me your best shot. Chapter twenty three, verse number six as an example. This is short, this will be easy to read. Twenty three. Twenty three verse number okay. twenty three verse six. Okay. Right. Oh, twenty three thirty six you said. Twenty-three, three, six. My friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, read with me. Illa ala azwajihim. Twenty-three, six, not twenty-thirty-six. Uh, twenty-three, six. No, no, it's okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm not using any other source. I'm just watching your screen. Okay. And which uh, interpretation you like me to show you? Any Ajralain. You mentioned Ajralain many times, right? 
Yeah, yeah, no problem. What about Maududi? You don't read Maududi anymore. Hmm. <coughs> By the way, you have blocked me. Why you blocked me? I'm calling from my daughter's... Uh, because you two are always like a kid, you know, you You're jump... From, like, because all of you, you jump like a monkey from a place to a place. Look where we were, look where we end. Where we go. Okay. This is the interpretation yeah, of Ajila Lane, my friend. Okay. Okay. Except, except from their spouse and their spouse that what is the slave of their right hand Hello? process. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Hello. Yes. Are you there? Hello. What's what happened? Hello. 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 Hmm. Hello. Okay, let me call him back. <laughs> 